Hey guys, hope you're all doing really well. Um, decided I'm going to do a bit of a monthly haul video sort of thing. I don't really do them very often. Um, as I've said before, I tend to upload them all on Instagram, um, which there's links to below, um, so you can check it out all out there. But I decided to throw together a monthly haul video, um, just to sort of keep everything together in one spot, and yeah, just sort of share with what I've gotten over the last month. So. Um, I was sort of looking through my collection, sort of looking through my room, picking out what I've got since Christmas. There might have been a couple of things here that I got in very late December. Um, and a couple of things that I've gotten early this month, we're only like a week into February, so I thought I'd just time in the video, so. Um, yeah, uh, I was just surprised how much I've actually gotten. I was sort of thinking about it the other day, I'm like, oh, I haven't really got much Star Wars stuff lately, but I have. So, it's been pretty cool. So I'll try not to make it last too long. Um, just FYI, it's a stinking hot day here. Um, we're just sort of in the middle of a sort of semi-mini heat wave. Um, it's meant to be over 42 degrees, which I can't remember what that is in Fahrenheit, but that's in Celsius. So if you have a little unit converter, you can find that out. Um, but anyway, let's talk some Lego. Um, I recently just did a review on this one, but it's Yoda's Starfighter. This is part of the first quarter, um, first quarter sets for LEGO Star Wars. Um, still hoping the Phantom's coming out. I've, I've seen a few people have it on Instagram, but it hasn't shown up here in Australia, whereas these, these sets have. Um, so the Phantom, there's like Luke's um, Land Speeder, and there's another one I'm thinking of, um, blanking on at a moment. But they're not out yet, so I'm hoping they come soon. <coughs> Um, I have recorded a review for this one. I haven't uploaded it yet, but it is the Jewel on Naboo. So that's a cool set too. Like I said, I've, I've uh, recorded a review for that one. I've just got to just got to get around to uploading it. So I might do that next. Um, and Battle of Scarif. This is a really fun set. I've uh, started making a bit of a bit of a mock out of this one. Um, I've got a couple of sand base plates and I've got a stack of blue studs and I'm hoping to get a couple more palm trees just and some uh, greenery like plants and stuff to add to that scene and uh, yeah I've got all the, like the rogues and all the Rogue One crew and the rebels and a bunch of stormtroopers and uh, a few Scarif stormtroopers attacking each other on on that sort of platform there so that was quite a fun build, quite a fun set. So that's my Lego. Um, Figure-wise, I've only got really two new ones. Um, I got the Revan Wave of Black Series, as you've seen, I'm reviewing them at the moment. But three quarter, three and three quarter inch, I'm pretty much up to date. I just picked up, just got Thrawn. Focus. I'm not sure if that's focusing or not. So I got Thrawn this week. I got them through the Little Toy Company. They're based in Melbourne, in Victoria, here in Australia. Um, so they sent them out to me last week, and I got them early this week. And I got Bodhi Rook. Again, I'm not sure if that's focusing or not. But I got Bodhi. Um, thinking about reviewing these individually but uh, I might, may do like what I did with The Force Awakens and just review them as a wave um, that seemed to work reasonably well um, and I just ordered from the US um, the two packs that never came out down here in Australia, there's a Darth Maul 7th Sister and the Baze Malbus and Stormtrooper pack so I've ordered them, hopefully they get here in the next week or two um, so that's pretty cool this is my girlfriend picked up. She's got the Han Solo Hallmark keepsake. So we'll get him out the main hanging from the Christmas tree. It's pretty cool. We're pretty happy to grab that. That's when they started going out cheap. Um, you've got a couple new Hot Wheels the character cars. Slowly catching up. Um, I need to really look on eBay for single packs. Um, before more start coming out, but they've really kind of just dried up here here now, and 
I don't think retailers are going to sell them for much longer, so it could be a dwindling sort of set for me. But I got the Battle Droid. It looks pretty cool. Lots of scratching and stuff. Got the marking on the back. So that looks cool. Um, very happy to finally find Admiral Akbar. I may have got this around Christmas. I've had this one for a little bit now. So that's cool. Hopefully they do a Radis. I know they're doing some more Rebels. Uh, Rogue One stuff. And the last one I found, which is a tr tough one to find, was Jabba the Heart. And he's a particularly cool looking truck. You can sort of see his hooker pipe there on the side. His little curly tail. There's like a toe ball. And you can see on the top probably can't pick it up on the camera but there's there's a little rancor in there and that's that's a pretty cool little detail that, that Mattel have done with the cars um also I've been picking up a few of the little micro machines um again that's something that's they're, they're really going really cheap so I'll just whiz through these a little U-wing fighter Java sail barge little X-wing Hi Striker. Uh, Director Krennix ship, which I can't remember the name of. A Y Wing. Director Krennix ship with its open wings. An ATDP from uh, Rebels. And an ATAT. So just a cool cup cool little vehicles that I've got set up in my room. Um, yeah. Alright, other things I've got, I sort of picked this up myself off of eBay, um, because I got the Force Awakens soundtrack on vinyl, um, so I've decided to try and collect the other vinyls. Um, so I picked up the Clone Wars. I'm not sure if I've shown this one before. I actually read it, just today I got delivered these plastic sleeves. So they're nice and clear and protected now. But that's a great soundtrack. Um, I've actually got a digital code for this. This came out with a digital code, so you can um, get it from iTunes or something. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use it at some stage, but it's not available to us in Australia. So um, some lucky American, if if, um, if I do, when I decide what to do with it, I might do a little contest or something, so you can get a copy of this soundtrack on vinyl. And then my girlfriend's dad, he was hunting through his shed. Um, and he said he had it, and my girlfriend remembers it from a kid, and uh, found the very the original Star Wars soundtrack on vinyl. Um, he said his first one got really, really damaged um, that he had originally, or or got lost or something. So he ended up buying a second one, which come from like a school library or something. But it's in really good condition. It plays very nicely. Um, and um, it's still got the poster in it, which is in really good condition. I want to frame that. Um, but yeah, I'm super. I was super excited to have a copy of the very original Star Wars soundtrack. And on the spine it says the Star Wars. So that's you know you're going back to 19. This was released in 1977. So that's damn cool. I won't open it up or anything, but yeah. Um, and the, another thing I've sort of been collecting a little bit when I can find them is Tops have released a set of Rogue One sort of themed trading cards. Um, they're not really the set you can get everywhere. They're, they're, Australia seems to get just this sort of one-off set of cards with about 200 cards in it. Um, except this time around I did it with The Force Awakens and didn't never got to complete the set. So I'm hoping I can complete this one. But... But yeah, lots of different cards. They're not not as cool as some of the other tops cards, but it's a pretty cool set. Um, I'm enjoying collecting them. They've been a bit tough to find, but um, yeah, hoping I can complete that set at some stage. All right, and now we're on to books. Um, got a pretty good stack of books recently. Um, just mid January when this one finally was released. This one was released in America quite quickly after the film. You know, it's Rogue One. The novelization I haven't yet sat down to read it um, I hope to because I like to get a little bit more out of the out of the story 
Um, yeah, really nice cover. Looks nice. Um, yeah, this didn't come out till the middle of January, so waited a couple of weeks, but that's cool. Graphic novels, um, trade paperbacks for the Marvel Star Wars line, uh, range, run of comics. I got Darth Vader number four. I think I picked it. this one might have been late December, might have been very early January. So that finished uh, the run of Darth Vader story, and that was that was cool. I, I really like Darth Vader. Um, I got volume four of the sort of main Star Wars story. Uh, the flight, the last flight of the Har Harbinger. I don't know how to pronounce it. Harbinger, Harbinger. I don't know how to pronounce that word. I've never, never heard it before. But I'm, I'm saying Harbinger. But that, that's pretty cool. A um, few little elements I wasn't too excited about. Scar Squadron. No, it's a, I don't, didn't like that much at all. But overall, it's not, it's not bad. It's pretty cool. And um, Han Solo. Sort of his run all in trade paperback form that was a lot of, that was a great story really enjoyed Han Solo recommend this um, and to wrap things up I went to a market a couple of weeks ago and um, so there was a bit of a toy fair toy and collectibles market in a town about five minutes away from me um, and someone was selling some they had like a box of old Star Wars expanded universe uh, now Legends novels so I sort of picked through and grabbed three out um, yeah, they were going for two bucks each so I thought you know what I can spend six bucks and grab a few books so I got the uh, the Han Solo trilogy by AC Crispin so it starts off with The Paradise Snare I've never read most most of these I haven't read and um, I'm definitely going to um, book two The Hut Gambit And Volume Three, Rebel Dawn. So I grabbed them, and I was I was pretty happy, and sort of wandering around the floor and stuff. I went back up there, and he said, "Oh, if you want any more books, I'll give them to you for a dollar each." So I pretty much grabbed everything else he had, because <laughs> um, he had a good stack of trilogies there. And you know, I grabbed some books that I thought I I didn't realize I already had with different covers. So I've got about five books that are doubles. So what I'll do with them. But um, I got the Black Fleet Crisis Trilogy, so I got Before the Storm, and I already had this one with a different cover, I think. There was one I had with the same cover, it might have been this one. So I got that. Um, that's book three, I don't know what order I've got this in. Book two, Shield of Lies. So I've got a lot of reading to do. <laughs> and book three, Tyrant's Nest. Um, what's this one? The Corellian Trilogy. Han Solo's Planet. Uh, okay, this is Ambush at Corellia. Assault at Salonia. And Showdown at the Center Point, rounding out that trilogy. So these are all sort of from the mid 90s, so that's cool. Um, the Jedi Academy Trilogy. So we start off with Jedi Search, and this is a trilogy, I've, I've already got this trilogy, um, I think I already had this trilogy actually, so I can't remember where, where, what I've got doubles of now, but I know I had Jedi Search in another cover. Dark Apprentice, and Champions of the Force. So again, despite these being non-canon anymore, it doesn't mean they're not enjoyable stories. Like, you can still enjoy the stories, even though they don't line up with the movies anymore. Um, well, they never really did. It was never... George never said they lined up with, with the movies, so... Um, Tales from the New Republic is another one I got. I didn't even know this existed. So I've got all the tales of um, books now, and I didn't even know this one existed, so... That's cool. Tales from the Empire. And the last one I got was The Courtship of Princess Leia. So, that was a good stack of books. I, and I got them for, you know, I got, I think it ended up being 18 books for $21 or something like that. Something, something silly. And um, 
yeah, ended up with a couple of doubles, but it didn't matter. But um, yeah, that's that's my haul, guys, for January. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope it didn't go too long. I haven't got a timer on my on my camera, so I don't know how long it's been. But um, yeah, I'll upload it. I might need to trim it down. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll have another one up next month, um, and I've got a room tour planned. So hopefully that can happen very very soon. Um, just gonna find some time to record it and edit it and stuff. So thanks again. Um, yeah, if you want to catch me anywhere else, you can catch me on Facebook at The Forces with Jesse. Um, just, just search for it, you should be able to find it. And at The Forces with Jesse on Instagram, so you can track me down there. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching, guys, and until my next video, may the